Social realism. So, uh, Marion is an art teacher and has taught art all over the world. Um, so she uses all her her techniques that she has taught to her pupils and her art. So you'll find collage techniques, acrylics, pastels, crayons, cut relief work. Um, and also, when you're looking at Marion's art, you'll see next to it a little story. Every piece of art asks a question, and uh, so it's those questions that Marion asks that are prompting the viewer to think about what's happening in the world today. <laughs> At the back of the gallery is my work. Um, this is digital photography and my main focus is colour and form. Um, on the left hand side you'll see that expressed in mosaic work. So if you look at the work very closely you'll see that it is, the background is made up of many thousands of tiny photos. So you step up close to look at the many and you step back to look at the whole. On the right hand side is my cut collage work. Um, I use photographs of flowers and leaves and I create forms such as cocktail glasses and butterflies. Then I take each photo and cut it and layer it and curl it to create a 3D piece of art. On the opposite side of that in the alcove you will find my fabric art um, and this is expressed through mirror and mandala techniques. <coughs> It, uh, and it translates very well into fashion and also um, interior design. It also really highlights my absolute love of colour. On the right hand side of the gallery um, you'll find Sue's work and this is her work of many, many years. Sue's um, background was in the advertising industry and she has a great love of quilting. When she first started quilting, um, and then she developed and created her own techniques of creating these textile collage. She cuts layers and sews the fabric, paying careful attention to colour and detail. She also uses some of the fabric texture to create and highlight areas. And with this, she creates, creates these beautiful landscapes and streetscapes. So that's her work.